the guys are down, lined up. And uh, again, this is our last race of the day. Live, that is. Any of the races not shown live will be archived on Flow Track. And uh, Kevin and Ryan are going to head down to, to the track and grab some interviews. Enjoy. So let's look down through this list. We got a packed house. Here. Oh, definitely. That is a This field really has got an itching for a fast time right now. We have a. Uh, Number one ranked right here, Lowey Lelang. Oh, Lowey Lelang. Ar Arizona, I mean, what a what a phenomenon this guy's been coming into college out of Kenya, coming over to train under Arizona's wizard coach. <laughs> yes, Mr. James Lee, who's obviously had great success with Boaz Lelang, uh, Bernard Legat. Here we go, the men's 5K is off. Let's run down through these names. Lowey Lelang, Arizona, Andy Vernon, Melbourne Track Club, Mark Christie of Ireland, Kitsuki, Takazawa of uh, S&B, David McNeil running unattached, the uh, former NAU All-American national champ and now running for his, his homeland, Australia, uh, training with um, Bernard Legat and Jam Coach James Lee. Juan Carlos Romero of Mexico, Ed Moran of Nike. Haven't seen him since the New York City Marathon this fall. Miles Beatty, the collegiate mile record holder. I'm really excited to see him this 5K. It will be, yeah, we, we think his debut. Kennedy Kathuka of Waylon Baptist is on the list. He ran the 10K yesterday. That looks to be him out front right now. Aaron Rono, uh, former APU and NAIA standout yep. right there. Yep, that's uh, Azusa Pacific for you, those of you who don't know the Abreves. Heron Legat of uh, Velazzo Sports and Nike, former former uh, Texas Tech standout and pacer for many uh, many great steeplechases around the world. Below to Asmaram. We have Brian Olinger of Freebox, Stefano La Rosa of Italy, Mark Draper unattached. I think he was in the steeple the other day, too. Yeah. Nick Happy, the sub four miler from Arizona State. Joe St Stillen, the sub four miler from Princeton, also PR of 1351. Borrego Diego Alberto of Mexico, also in this section. Um, we're going to get splits for you here as we get ready for these races. About 600 meters in, we're at 135, 136, so just right about uh, 32 second, so 64s right now. Also in this, begin to string out actually a little bit. Tadrek Nermi of Estonia, Stephen Pfeiffer, Oregon Track Club, Cam Levins of Southern Utah, Andrew Springer of Georgetown, Roy Frazier unattached, formerly of New Mexico, he's a British athlete. Also Patrick Smythe, Tyler Pennell, Sean Houseworth. Uh, Air Force and Robert Cesaret. And they come through in the 8 and 207. Looking strong. So. So yeah, we're, we're looking forward to this one. So Lawi Lelang in this race. Through the K and just under 240 for the leaders. Lawi Lelang fourth right now sitting there. 1308 indoors for the 5,000 meters. The Ooh. collegiate record by quite a bit. Get the fire extinguisher out, oh, that's hot. Oh man, he was running with Bernard Legat. In that race, I just remember thinking, could. Lowey beat Bernard, and Bernard <laughs> obviously showed us another gear indoors this year that he still, some question maybe, does he still have the wheels? And man, I'll tell you what, indoors at U.S. Champs and, and in that Milrose game, see, and a few others that we saw just unleash in 26 second 200s as they go through in about 312, so right on 64 is still. Um, still Kathuka up front. We saw him run with Sambu last night, which that doesn't seem like it was that long ago. <laughs> Ran 28. 19, if I'm not mistaken. Very solid runner last night. So, Miles Beatty in there. Um, God, I could have sworn he ran a 5K at some point, and Kevin, Kevin proved me wrong. But uh, it, it feels like he should have, though. You know, a 749 he ran indoors this year. He ran 354. A very, very accomplished runner. Did not defend his title indoors, but 
in that mile, but uh, but she had a great season nonetheless. As this is Kathuka now, kind of pulling away from everybody, trying to make the pace honest. We can definitely see that out of him. Lowy, the first collegiate, and. 4.16 through the mile. 4.16 as the pacer kind of sped up there to get the pack through up to Kathuka, so still 64s. Thirteen twenty, a mark that guys will be thinking about, some of these guys in this race. Lowy, I, I, I'm sure, is one of them when he thinks to a possible chance to run at the Olympic trials uh, for, for Excuse me, Kenya, which, gosh, I don't, could not imagine what that would be like. They go through 449 there. I would imagine it being very busy and very crowded. Kathuka just throws in a surge. Wow. Going, picking it up a little bit there for Kathuka. <laughs> kind of just doing his own thing. Maybe he's a little feeling a little hot hand from last night in that 10K. Yep. David McNeil looks to be... Well, David McNeil's back in about 12th or so. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15th, though, off the back of that pack, where it's about to start breaking. 22. That was a 66 six right there. 522, so 66, their slowest of the, of the race so far. Went through that half at 207, 209. Their next half, our next split will be the mile and a half. And now it looks like Rono taking the lead. And Kathuka now back to the lead. Kathuka the madman out there. As Maybe there's a method to this madness in Kathuka. I am not sure. Not sure what's going on. I mean, Kathuka was, was put a, a really stiff pace early in the 10,000 meters last night. Uh, Sambu reeled him in and, and was able to take him down. Lowy, it's starting to bunch up there. As if we see who's that moving into third there. Fort, hip 14, Stefano La Rosa, Italy. Italy. And 13.22 back in 2010. 16.25, so 63 on that last. Or, Six, or, or 6, 623, I, I apologize. 6.23? Yeah. So 60. Oh, 61 actually. 61 there. So Kathuka with that speed burst. And still a nice group there. Now David McNeil has moved up. We said he was at the back of that group where the break was starting to form. And now he's kind of moved up in about, probably about 12th place or so. I think he's right on the shoulder of Heron Legat. And McNeil had a lot of success at Northern Arizona. Had a lot of range too while he was there. He did have a lot of range. Had had good speed over 1,500 meters. Could could do a lot over 10,000 meters and in cross country. Just a Lowy, Lowy Lalang now following up with Rono, and I, is that is that Cam Levins there? Cam Levins now right up there. 7:32, right there. Accepted entries came out today for Stanford Peyton Jordan Invitational, and we looked at the 10,000 because we were talking yesterday about how. For Canada, the 10,000 meter team, Simon Byru is going to be in the mix, obviously. Then you have Mohamed at Wisconsin. Yeah, you got to have Cam Levins at Southern Utah. That's a strong and, field and right that, there. Well, that could be their Olympic trials, more or less, at Stanford. But Cam Levins has not entered in it. He's entered in the 5K. Be interesting to see if he would run back-to-back -back 5Ks week after uh, Mount Sac. And I mean, if, I, if he gets a mark here, I would. I'm guessing he, he wouldn't need to but he leaves his chances out of uh, running those guys for the 10,000, but up front, Rono, uh, Kathuka now back there in fifth place, almost sixth next to uh, La Rosa. So, eight thirty-seven for the leaders. If you're watching online and following us on Twitter. It looks like we've over our tweet limit, so uh, give us a minute. Hopefully we'll come back to that. That last one. 65. 65. 837 for 3,200 meters. 
10 seconds ahead of the number one high schooler in the country, so hey. gives you a little perspective there. <laughs> so now, moving up front, look at this. It's Mr. Cam Levins of Southern Utah having the season of his life this year. Cross country, indoor, now outdoors, just continuing to impress. Putting the school kind of on the map there, you know, with his performance. He is. He's trying to put his school, he's trying to put his country. A little Canadian flair there, <laughs> along with uh, someone named Sheila Reed, who's obviously had a lot of success at Villanova. And Lowey just doing a great job sitting there. And guess who it is? Our friend, Mr. Yeah. Kennedy Kathuka, <laughs> back up to the front. And I'm just wondering, can he hold on to this pace? I mean, he's had a busy weekend. A lot of meters on this guy. 942, another 65 drop. 65, so they're at 420 pace. And Lowey now back into second. And over his shoulder, one guy we haven't even mentioned yet. It looks like that might be Brian Olinger uh, for Reebok. And we've seen him try to run some 10Ks in the past. and or excuse me, five. we've seen him run some 5Ks in the past. 1331 back in 08 he ran. He's run under, tw he's run 28, gosh, what was it, 57 or so for 10K. Uh, 819 Steepler, one of the top Steeplers in the, in the country uh, a few years ago. Kind of took a break from it last year and then ran one and ran real well. But right now, looking very strong on this 5,000 meter. And next to him, Got looks like Rory Frazier maybe. In the, in the bright uniform there. The Brit, formerly of uh, New Mexico, All-American there. Right around a 1331 PR, if I'm not mistaken. Coming through in 1047, so another 65. Real consistent here with these leaders. Not, not going too fast, not going too slow, just right on, clicking them off. And Frazier actually might have been more, uh, I think 1339 might be his PR. Back in his New Mexico days, and it might actually be from Mount Sac, I'm not sure. Brian Sack or Stanford, I'm sure, but uh, now if you look two, four, six, eight, nine, right behind Kathuka is David McNeil, who's slowly been moving up throughout this. So a little, a little closeness there. <laughs> Lowey Lalang, right next to Cam Levins. There's Sean Houseworth in your screen. There's Stillen. Trying to get a little tight bunched up in the front. And there's Pfeiffer back there. And now back up with the leaders. Coming up on our, we had this 4,400 meters with Lowey Lelang up front, Brian Olinger, La Rosa, Levins, Frazier, Rono, McNeil. 752. Now there's 65. Kathuka off the back now, starting to fade a little bit. And it looks like Andy Vernon is also in that group in the blue. Trying to hang on. McNeil's starting to break away from him. And we got seven now in that group. If McNeil's in this race with 400 to go, watch out. Definitely and known and have, he's got the speed Look at Cam him. Levins go again. And Lowry responds. And this is where pace is starting to drop. One to go. 12-23. That came up real quick. And Lowry Lelang not surprised if he finishes under 60 seconds. Here he goes. Cam Lowry. Levins. We got... Collegians 1 2 right now. David McNeil, we said he's got some speed, and look at him go. He joked yesterday <laughs> saying Lowry would probably destroy him in this 5K, and I said, Don't even say it, McNeil. We've seen him run too many good races, and he's right there in third. Lowry Lelang, though, 12 51 on that. That was like 28 seconds on that last 200. And Cam Levins is right there. He's shadowing him. This is him. a Chris Derrick-like performance <laughs> against Lowey Lalang. Look at this. He's wow, up Levins on wants to take it. Can Lowey Lalang lose twice now? Oh. oh my gosh, here we go. Cam Levins, Lowey Lalang. Oh, neck 50 and meters neck. to go. Cam Levins is powering very hard, and he's going to take this race from Lowey Lalang. And Levins is taking Two it. Great races that Lowey has lost. McNeil in third. Wow, 13 18, 55 seconds on the closing 400. Breakthrough number, who knows, for, for Cam Levins this season. And once this again, Lelang's armor pierced by another runner. Wow. Two collegians taking down Lowey Lelang, two races in a row. Watch out, NCAA, just when we thought Lowey Lelang was unstoppable and shoulders above this field. Chris Cam Derrick, Levins. Chris Cam Derrick Levins. and Cam Levins <laughs> tell us otherwise.
This 5,000 meters at the NCAA championship is going to be ridiculous. Throw in Cam Levins, throw in Lau Lang, throw in, gosh, Lenny Career, Chris Derrick. We're probably leaving people out. Who knows where Luke Piscedra's at and all these other guys. Anything can happen. Steven Sambu. If we can get, I don't know if we can get that number two shot on, on Cam Levins right now. Great shot of Cam after this race. There you go. That is a huge breakthrough for Cam Levins. That's going to be a confidence boost going into NCAAs. We can oh, definitely say that. NCAAs, the Olympics for Canada. That, that guy just punched his ticket <laughs> to London 2012. I don't even know if he believes it. I think he's <laughs> getting interviewed by, uh, by Ryan Craven right now. The flow track team on it. And uh, David McNeil looks like he's going to be talking to Kevin Liao. A great way to, to send off the crowd here tonight uh, at the... 2012 Mount Sac relays. I'm st I'm a little bit stunned. I mean, I knew Levens was talented, but to take on Lowey Lang like that and just you know lock horns with him in the finish, that took something right there. We saw that indoors in the 5K and the 3K with Chris Derrick, and Lowey just had another gear. He had a little bit more grit to to win that race. And today we saw almost. I thought we were going to see the same thing as we saw indoors, and all of a sudden it was like. <laughs> this, this mean muscle of Cam Levins came out of nowhere, and we saw a, a kick finish against the best guy in the country that I've never seen before from Mr. Levins. So, good things, good things for him. Wow, watch out. That was great. That was, man, I thought, the, I thought you know, coming into this, the women's 5K was going to steal the show, but Cam Levins, <laughs> I think, takes the cake. Race, wrong, uh, uh, do we have <laughs> nominations for race of the week? I think we should look at some chats here. What is do we that, think?